Okay, here we are at day three or class three, and we want to do some work on our castle before we attach it to our moat. So I want you to open up your bag. I want you to very carefully take out your castle. I want you to also take out your extra clay, okay? So you may have to take out your base in order to get to your extra clay. And that's okay. So we are at, we're actually going to take out our base and we want the base to stiffen up just a little bit more. And so what I want you to do is I want you to unwrap your base, set the plastic wrap aside, put it at the top of your board. You can move your Ziploc bag off to the side as well and then get out some of this extra clay. Okay. So now we want to add some doors and windows and then we'll be adding the texture onto the outside of our castle which gives it personality and it makes it look really cool. So your castle may have gotten a little bit misshapen um, just being in the Ziploc bag and that is normal. Okay, that's normal. Don't worry about that. So take, let's take a second and let's try to straighten up some of these little um, battlements that are up at the top. Smooth it out. Don't worry about texture on there because we're going to be actually um, drawing in a texture onto it. So smooth it out. If it seems like it's a little wonky, then just take your hands and um, just press on the outside of it until it's back into a little bit more of a cylinder type shape. Okay, now leave the inside, uh, the paper towel roll on the inside because it's going to give some strength as we um, add in some of our features. So the first thing I want you to do is decide which part of your castle maybe looks the best to you. And that should be your front. Okay, so I'm going to choose this area. It seems like it's really nice. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to draw a door. Now I'm going to use the needle tool not to cut all the way through, but only to press in just a little bit. I like oval shaped doors. And so I'm going to put in a door with an archway like this. Now I can also use the needle tool on the side like this and just put a little bit of pressure and it's going to make it look like wood slats. Just like that. Now we'll add a doorknob a little bit later but that's a good start to our door. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a surround around the outside of it. And what I want to do is I want to take some of my extra clay. And actually, I think I'm going to use this one. I'm going to take some of this extra clay. And it's a little bit thick. And so what I want to do is I want to take my rolling pin. And I think I want to roll it out just a little bit because it's a little on the thick side. Oops, my clay is sticking. Just like that. Now the extra pieces and stuff that we add on to the outside of it don't have to be um, as thick as the wall. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to add, I'm wanting to add some wood around the outside of this. And I want it to be about this thick, I think. Okay. Um, right. Now, before I actually press it on, what I want to do is I want to take the clay and start to shape it a little bit. And if I'm if I get any elephant skin, then I'm just going to take my fingers and press just like this. But I don't want to attach it because we have to score and slip. OK, and then I'm going to take the rest of this. I got a little bit thin on that side. And so I want to make sure that I keep this one about the same thickness. I can use that one as a guide and press just like this. OK. And then wherever I'm going to attach clay to clay, I'm going to score and slip. 
you've heard that a bunch of times. It's because it's a necessary step. Okay, score and slip this as well. Get our paintbrush, press and wiggle. And then I'm gonna take my clay and I wanna press it on bit by bit here. Just like that. I can take my fingers and smooth out that inside part. Make sure it's very nice and firmly pressed because we don't want anything to pop off in the kiln. So this next part is gonna be fairly short. I'm gonna go ahead and trim that. And then I will score and slip this. And then I'll attach these together just like this press it down now to get rid of that seam all I have to do is take my modeling tool make sure it's nice and wet and press back and forth over it and that seam will go away you can do it on the outside as well and then take my fingers to smooth. If there's any extra parts that are coming off the edge here, then I can take a needle tool and trim those off as well. All right, now to add some texture to this door surround, then again, I'm gonna use my needle tool to put in some just some lines that kind of maybe look like wood grain a little bit. I could even put in some little holes to show maybe where there were nail holes. Okay, they notice that the lines don't go all the way. That just adds a little bit of fun texture to the outside of it. Just like that. I could even bring that on the inside and down the side because most likely that texture wouldn't stop right there. Okay, um, you can also come back All right, that looks really good. Um, I'm gonna wait to add the doorknob um, just so that I don't knock it off by accident. Um, I'm gonna wait to add that for just a little bit. Okay, so now we wanna decide where we put some windows, all right? So I'm gonna put a small window right at the front here. And I think I want this to be a circular window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some pie shapes. And I'm just going to draw them partially in right now. And then I'm going to cut all the way through in just a little bit. So I'm putting four pie shapes together so that I can see the window pane. Okay, so once you've got that drawn, if you drew lightly enough and you feel like you made a mistake, then you can always take your finger and you can press and wiggle over it as long as it's not real deep. If it's real deep, then you probably are going to have to um, just make that a happy accident. Okay. And so now what I wanna do is I wanna take my needle tool and I wanna press all the way through down to the paper towel and then I'm gonna scoop out that window. So press all the way down to the paper towel. You don't wanna poke through the paper towel, okay? You just wanna to go to it, to where it touches it. If you have a hard time getting it out with the needle tool, you could try a, a tool that's a little bit thicker 
but that also makes a little bit more of a mess. Okay, what that means is that I did not press all the way through right there. If I had pressed all the way through to the paper towel, then it would have come out very cleanly. Now it's really rough in there, so we wanna take our fingers and try and smooth it out. I can take my tool and try and smooth it out. All right, and I'll cut the last one out. There we go. Okay, now that looks pretty decent, but it's still a little bit rough. So if I take my fingers and dip them in water, and then come in and smooth it out, then it looks so much nicer. Be careful not to move the window panes as you're doing this. Okay, there we go. Now, if I wanted to, I could also do a couple of things. I want to add a little ledge onto this. So I'm going to take one of these extra scraps of clay and I'm going to cut it the length that I want this little ledge to be and then I'm going to score the end of it right here and I'm going to score right here where I want that to go. Then I'm going to take it and I'm going to press, press and wiggle it on, just like that. Okay, take your fingers and smooth it out. And there we've got a nice little ledge. For our window. If you wanted to, you could also uh, take your needle tool again and you could add in some of the wood grain to this as well. Just like that. Okay, that's how you add a window. Now, I'd also like to add a window that has a stone surround. So I'm going to turn my piece over and I'm going to be very careful not to mess up this area that I've worked on right here. But here what I want to do is I'm going to add a window pane. So this one is going to be a square one. So remember that I only dent in just a little bit first, like this, in order to get the placement of my window panes. And then, after you have that, then you'll take your needle tool and push all the way through. Good. Now again, I want to take my finger, dip it in water, and I want to smooth these out. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is I want to add a stone surround around the outside of it as well as putting another window seal on it just like this. And so I'm going to cut the window sill to the length that I want it to be. So I cut my window sill to the length that I want it to be and now I need to score and slip. I'm holding my castle because I don't want to mess up the ledge that I put over there. So press and wiggle. Okay, attach that. 
I'm gonna hold that up, press and wiggle, smooth it out, just like this. Now I'm gonna set this aside for just a second while I work on making a few stones to go around the outside of it. So I'm gonna use some of these extra pieces of clay that I had left over from before. Just kind of wet them. They actually will roll a whole lot better, roll up a whole lot better if they're a little bit um, damp and soggy. So we wanna have some different sizes. We wanna have some, some slightly bigger ones. We wanna have some medium and we wanna have some small ones. So just cut several and roll up several in your hand just like that notice they aren't super big just like okay there we go okay now I've got several stones uh, to go around the outside of my window and what I want to do is I want to scratch first kind of all around the outside of this wherever my stones are going to go I want to have the stone surround okay and then I'm going to take this big one put my slip down Go ahead and score them so that they are ready. They're so much easier, so much easier to do when you've got them ready. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to take my stones and I'm going to press and I'm going to wiggle them on. Make sure that they're firmly on there. And just come in and put them all around. Okay, and continue to do that until you go all the way around your window. Okay, now we've got a stone surround around the outside of our window.